good, what's good, man? It's your boy, Drama House A Game Entertainment. You already know, Battle Rap's old head, Coon Gang, bringing you the latest on these suckers and this sucker shit. What's really good, y'all? What's going on? This ain't about Battle Rap, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is another hood story for y'all because to me right now, ain't nothing going on in Battle Rap. We done talked about it. And then I feel like whatever they talking about now, they just forcing the issue. I don't want to force shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard for me to talk about because I go straight off the head with it. So it's hard for me to force talking about situations that don't need to be talked about no more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give y'all another hood story. Get your blunt, get your drink, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I got mine sponsored by Hennessy. Let me take a sip right quick, you know what I'm saying, to get this bitch started. Just a little sip. Let me get the blunt. Let me light the blunt up, you know, so I can, you know, get this. Let me light the blunt up one time, you know, so we can talk this shit about the story. Because this story, this story really deep, man. It's a story, this story deep, man. I can't really even say names and shit like that on this one because this shit is, this shit, motherfuckers lost their life behind this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? If anybody can remember, like, some years back, man, it was young niggas running in, um, running in motherfucking uh, jewelry stores in New York, busting out the display with hammers. Regular hammers, running in that bitch in the morning, busting them motherfucking displays, snatching grab. That's what niggas was doing, man. It was coming back to my city. You know what I'm saying? They had a plug. It was a plug nigga, right? He had, he put the niggas on game. He an older nigga that got that work, whatever, but niggas know you know, he be coming up with schemes. He's one of them bummy ass niggas that get bread, though. You know what I'm saying? The nigga ain't nothing polished about the nigga, but the nigga get bread. You feel what I'm saying? So. He put the little niggas on game. The little niggas and his little brother. They going out hitting the jewelry spots. Boom. Boom. Busting shit out. Getting $100,000 worth of motherfucking jewelry. The plug got the niggas that's gonna buy the shit. You feel me? So I guess they already negotiated how they gonna move that. So they bring the shit back, give it to the plug, the plug give it to the people that's gonna buy it, and then he break bread. So he been breaking bread. Them little niggas walk riding around. They styling, they got all kind of shit. Benzes and all kind of shit. Remember, ain't none of these niggas over 17. Ain't none of these niggas 17. So they got gats and shit all in their mouth. Niggas, them niggas, them little niggas at the bar with us, kicking it, cause we old the niggas. We like these little niggas, these little niggas fly as fuck, they off the chain. So, cause we all in the hood know. We all in the hood, everybody know everything. So we know exactly what's going on. So, why these little niggas still doing that shit? They get all their last ticket. I guess they didn't get all the bread yet. So the plug owe these niggas like, it was a $77,000 lick, so the plug got to break bread with the little niggas or whatever who did it. So that's a nice piece of change, whatever he owe them. They need that. They hit another lick during that in the hood on this other little nigga who a cornball type nigga. I didn't even know was getting no bread like that. So they go to this nigga house, catch this nigga at the crib, rob this nigga, and break a broomstick in the nigga ass. That's how fine these little niggas was and how corny this other nigga was. They put a broomstick in the nigga ass and broke it. I guess he wasn't trying to give up the bread or something. So the whole hood heard about it. The whole hood knew who did it or whatever. So I guess he called the boys or whatever and snitched or whatever. That's hey, that's not snitching. The nigga come to your house and do some shit like that to you. I'm letting y'all know. If you tell, that's not snitching. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say, nigga. Nigga, nigga invaded your spot, nigga. Fuck that. That's what the law for, man. Don't get too caught up in this snitching shit. A lot of you niggas go overboard with that snitching shit. For real. I remember Cab Rod said the stupidest shit. It's just, a, you know, random. Uh, I heard Cab Rod say all the dudes one time. They said if a killer moved next door to you, what would you do? Would you tell that it was a killer next door to you or whatever? He said, no, I just moved. I understood what he was trying to do because he ain't want his gangster image, you know what I'm saying, to be diminished. But my nigga, we black people, my nigga, we got to look smarter than that when we on TV. Hell yeah, get him the fuck up out of here. This nigga is a killer. This nigga kill somebody else because your dumb ass don't want to say it's a killer living next door to you, man, because you talking about you snitching. So somebody got to die because of your pride. Man, get the fuck out of here. You feel what I'm saying?
know what I'm saying? But back to this. So they break a broomstick in the little nigga ass. He tell the police, whatever, whatever, but the police don't really know who we talking about. So it's like shit time go by, time pass or whatever. The little nigga on the block one day, and he happened to see them niggas either ride past, yeah, he seen them niggas ride past and go post up where they be posted at. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas be posted all over the strip. So you can see niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if a nigga robbed you from the hood, believe me, you know where he at. You know, you see this nigga. And he robs you because he feel like you a bitch-ass nigga. And he like, what, nigga? So he see the little, he see the other two little niggas. And I guess he hit his phone, like, call the police and tell them the niggas that what they did is out here right now. Police pull up, snatch them niggas up. Them niggas looking bad. Them niggas done got a breaking. Them niggas done broken a nigga crib. If you move a nigga, that's kidnapping. From one room to the next, that's kidnapping. So now you got kidnapping, you got robbery, breaking and entering, and assault, because you broke a broomstick in this nigga ass. So these niggas looking like they done, because you know these little niggas already got other cases or whatever. So the plug still owe these niggas bread. The plug kicking it. Everybody talking about in the hood, these niggas done. So don't nobody really think these little niggas getting out no time soon. Wrong. These little niggas get out. Rem remember, none of these niggas are 17. None of these niggas are 17. They all under 17, man. I'm talking about all the way to like 13 and 14. So the little niggas, these two little niggas I'm talking about is the head though. These niggas is the head of the snake. These two niggas is the bosses. You feel what I'm saying? So, boom. They get out. Why the first day these niggas get out, right? No lie. They riding around in one of the little niggas' mama car. They got the plug in the back seat. And they smoking, riding around. And they coming through every block just to pull up like, what's up, y'all? We out. To the old heads and everything. Why they got the plug in the back seat and they smoking, right? So it's, it's, it's like five niggas in a little ass... Honda or whatever. You got the driver who mother car is, the other nigga who who um who was with him, and then two little niggas in the back on each side and the plug in the middle scrunched up. They riding around smoking weed. And under their arms, while they smoking weed, they got the pistol, two pistols in the rib cage of the plug. We looking at this shit like what the fuck? This an old nigga. This the plug. These two little, these little niggas got this nigga. They riding around with the plug, nigga, with pistols in his in his rib cage, nigga. You can't even see him while they smoking weed, nigga. Like everything is everything, nigga. Riding around with this nigga. They didn't already call this. They already told this nigga to call his peoples and get that bread to him, nigga. Because he need, they needed some money to get out of jail. And this nigga ain't come through. He owed these niggas bread. So these niggas then kidnapped this nigga, riding around with this nigga in a mama car with guns in this nigga rib cage, smoking weed. Told this nigga, call your peoples, nigga, and had them niggas. And like the niggas, some of the peoples he was calling was my niggas. Like, we all family. So it's like, these little niggas is like on some gangster ass shit because they got OGs moving to their tune because they like, nigga, get that bread or we doing this, nigga. So I guess this nigga, they get the bread together and call the little niggas and they let the, they let the plug out because we all knew that they had the plug. They rolled up every fucking strip with this nigga. That's the letter C. You feel what I'm saying? That's what made it so G. So we got a bar that we all go to. It's a hood bar. Everybody in that bitch. The project niggas, us, everybody in that bitch. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday is dollar night. That bitch smack. You hear me? So, we in the bar, right? We already knew this shit didn't happen. I don't even know. It's not even that night. It's probably like a week. It's probably like three days later. Two days. No, you know what? It might have been that. No, it couldn't have been that same night. It was the next day. That's what it was. It was the next day, right? These little niggas. All right, we in the bar. The, the regular niggas, we in the bar, we kicking it. We ain't got nothing to do with none of that shit. We, we hustlers, because you can't do that shit to us. 
You feel what I'm saying? You you can't get that shit off on us because we the older, grimy niggas, but we still young niggas too. You feel me? Remember what I said? These niggas is under 17. So, we all in the bar kicking it, whatever. One of the little niggas that's probably like 17 be fucking the plug bitch. You feel what I'm saying? He be fucking the plug bitch. So, the plug nigga be fucking all the little hoes in the hood or whatever. Cause he the plug and he'll splurge on them little hoes cause he that type of nigga. But the plug, but the, one of the young niggas is fucking his bitch. So, boom. Everybody in the club kicking it or whatever. The plug in the club is bitch in the club or whatever. We sitting there chilling, drinking. It's like, it's bar time. Everybody just doing what they do, turning up or whatever. Here come the little niggas in the bar. They didn't let the little niggas in because they spend money. You feel me? And it's a hood bar where we already got gave them, gave them the, you know, like the green light, let the little niggas come through. So they come in, whatever. We all dapping them up. These little niggas fresh as fuck because they didn't got the money from the shit. You feel me? From the from the ransom that they was old. So these niggas got baguettes, diamonds, and shit all in their motherfucking mouth, grilled up. These little niggas got whips. These little niggas in the bar. Wildin' the fuck out, throwing money on the floor, buying Moed, anything. These just little niggas, they wildin', right? So, like, almost, almost like, not bar time, probably like a two, probably like 1230. You know what I'm saying? Bar time is at 215. So like 1230, the little niggas geeked up and they about to leave that bitch. All I see is this. Now look, the old the the, the plug nigga. Is sitting by the door with his bitch and his few little niggas and they drinking more at whatever, kicking it or whatever. Why when the little niggas, one of the, the nigga that's fucking his bitch go over there by his bitch, talking to her like, you know how you be close to a bitch talking or whatever, smacking on, smacked on her ass and shit, whatever. Why he was right there, right? The nigga ain't saying nothing. Now remember, these niggas ain't nothing but like 17 and nothing to plug, like 35 or whatever. So, they he smacking on her ass, whatever, talking about we gonna fuck tonight or whatever. Total disrespect. So as he, while he was doing that or whatever, nigga, the other little niggas was leaving out. Cause you know, it's a it's a door right here. It's a door, it's like a horseshoe. So we on this side. So the little niggas start, as they walking out in the line, nigga, they start throwing drinks on the plug, nigga. They start like like throwing drinks, throwing their drinks on that nigga on his face, nigga. Like, I'm talking about like, nigga, they, they, they made it rain on that nigga with drinks, nigga. Total disrespect. We looking like, oh shit, what the fuck? Why niggas smacking this bitch on the ass? They walked up out that bitch like that nigga don't want no wreck, nigga. And niggas was smiling in his face with they baguettes on him, what they bought with the money, nigga. Total disrespect. Why that nigga was over there just like smiling, like, yeah, nigga, it's all good, nigga. It's all good. Cause you know them little niggas would have murdered his ass. But his man's then was in the bar too. I just felt like that nigga ain't want no smoke with them niggas. So after that, right? Everything niggas out, niggas out there, at, 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 niggas out after the bar talking like, damn, that shit was crazy. These little niggas wildin'. So I guess these little niggas balls they got so big, they start kidnapping the OGs in the hood that was getting bread. They start kidnapping the OGs in the hood that was getting bread, my nigga. Real talk. They pulled up on my one nigga at the liquor store, act like they wanted to buy some work and try to snatch the nigga in the whip. The nigga started busting at him or whatever. They start busting back, they pulled off or whatever. Now the OG know who the fuck these niggas is. This one of them OG niggas that don't fucking play. And he be dolo, a little nigga. I see the OG, I hear about the shit. I see the OG one day in the, in the store or whatever. I'm like, OG, I heard about that shit, such and such. He, he was so aggressive, nigga was like, he want, like he was like, like he was like at me too. You feel me? That's how aggressive he was when he pulled out that desert in the store. Like, nigga, I wish one of them, nigga, I got something for they motherfucking ass. It's a little nigga, but he an OG and he, uh, you know, he, oh, he like, he was like 36, 37 or whatever like that. Nigga uh, pulled out a motherfucking big ass desert, nigga. That bitch was dumb. That bitch was dumb. Put that bitch back in and was like, nigga, them niggas know what it is. So, boom. 
Rogers got the nigga one day riding down the street, right? He riding in a bucket. Everybody in the hood know everything. He riding around in a bucket, just riding the streets. He see one of the niggas and pop him up, pull off. Hit the nigga up like, bah, 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 with the desert nigga and pulled off. The little nigga live. Everybody in the hood know who did it. Everybody in the hood know who did it. Niggas is like way shook now because, you know what I'm saying, they ain't, they ain't ran into no shit like this. They ain't never popped up nothing. You know what I'm saying, this OG nigga ain't play. So boom, I guess, and he was riding around after that, still looking for niggas, you know what I'm saying? So boom, that blew past. That blew past. So they hit another uh, jewelry spot. They hit another jewelry spot, right? Um, this time, one of the niggas got a pistol. So somehow, something happened where the shit hit the news or whatever, because they was hitting so many of them. They they hit the uh, the shit hit the news, right? The news put out an eighty thousand reward because they got the name of one of the niggas. Because I think somebody got caught. I think I, look, I think somebody might have got caught and gave the OG name. So boom, everybody in the hood watching, watching the news, hearing that shit, with the news talking about, they yell out a name. They say, if anybody got any whereabouts on this man and showed the nigga picture, it's an $80,000 reward out on this nigga. Soon as I see that shit, I'm like, he done. Everybody in the hood going for that reward. Long story short, they said over, they had got over 80 calls. 80 calls on a nigga who faced a flash from that neighborhood. 80 calls. Snatched that nigga up with the quickness. They start snatching niggas up with the quickness, right? So boom, the little niggas is still out. It's another young nigga on the block that's getting real money. And he out there flashy. So word on the streets is that the little niggas is gonna run up on him and kidnap him for a ransom. Instead of, instead of like, the, instead of just letting that shit blow by, the nigga who get bread pulled up on the little niggas where they be at like, what's up? It's like seven o'clock. Seven o'clock in the summertime, like wait, so it's just matter of fact, I don't know if it's summertime. I know it's about dark. It's dark at seven, so it just was getting dark or something. So it was like seven o'clock, seven thirty, right? So they pull the, the, the nigga who getting that bread pull up like, yeah, what's good? I'm here. They they everybody dap up. What's good, baby? What's good? What's good? You know what I'm saying? These little niggas. He like, man, I heard uh, I'm supposed to be the next get kidnapped and all that shit. They like, what? Who said that shit, OG? OG, get the hell no, OG. OG no on. So they just is talking it up. Everybody chopping it up. These little niggas like, nah, we ain't on that shit. Three minutes later, the little niggas like, you know what? Fuck that shit. You is, nigga. And right there, snatch the nigga. Crazy. Pipes out. Snatch the nigga. The whole hood know what's going on. The whole hood going know what's going on. These niggas done kidnapped this nigga, told him to call his people's nigga, and send some money, nigga, or we burning this nigga. Facts, nigga. I see the niggas. I'm, you know, I'm an I'm a OG nigga. I'm sliding through the block. I see these niggas at the gas station. Now, I pull up, I get out, I'm peeled up. I'm fucking with the ex. I'm peeled the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I'm nice, nigga. I am flashy. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting on something, whatever. I don't know what I was sitting on. I know I had that brand pre. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I probably was sitting on some Dayton's. You know what I'm saying? So I pull up, go to get some gas, nigga. Pull, nigga, be like, hey, here. I'm going at you right quick. I'm like, what's good? What's good, man? What you about to do? He's like, man, get some gas. He's like, oh, what's up, shit? We just chilling. So I already know what's going on. But I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm peeled up. You can't tell I got games, so I, I'm an OG nigga. I know how to out slick you or whatever. So I look in the car and I see some niggas. Now the nigga who they kidnapped ain't in the car. But there's some niggas in the car that I seen in that bitch. You feel what I'm saying? So, boom. I walk off or whatever. I holler at y'all boys later. Boom, 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 get my gas or whatever, pull off. I'm thinking like, oh, shit. Where the fuck is old boy at? You know what I'm saying? So... Later on that night, I guess the little niggas 
is driving up the motherfucking on to get something to eat at one of these fast food spots. They got an old boy in the motherfucking car with them right now, though. They still riding around with this nigga waiting on the ransom. So, the little nigga that they got kidnapped, that's older than them, the nigga that they got kidnapped in the car that's supposed to be calling for the ransom, here's where the story flip. Nobody know that this nigga ain't got knocked in New York because he was, he, was, he was that nigga, you feel me? This nigga was that nigga. So he didn't got knocked in New York and he's snitching on niggas in New York. Nobody in the hood know that this nigga is snitching. This shit crazy, you feel me? Everybody love this little nigga. So niggas is like salty about the nigga being kidnapped. Niggas like, this shit fucked up, man. Niggas can't let these little niggas just ride like this even though these are our little niggas. Niggas are salty. So, Instead of calling the, instead of calling the niggas with the, with the bread to bring them, to bring the little niggas to let him go, this nigga call the feds. This nigga call the feds. So, when he call the feds, the nigga just leave the phone. Like, instead of saying anything, he just leave the feds. He he just leave the phone open so they can hear the conversation. The feds understood that this nigga is being kidnapped. These niggas pull up to the fast food spot to get something to eat, I guess. This is what they seeing on the news and in the hood. Some motherfucking, some motherfucking SUVs pulled up. No, matter of fact, some Denali trucks pulled up. While these niggas was at the restaurant pulling up into the drive-thru, some Denali trucks just start pulling all up on these niggas' cars. These niggas don't really know what's going on. These little niggas start busing and trying to drive through the Denali trucks, not knowing that these, the feds hitting that bitch. The feds start busting. Feds shoot up the car and kill the nigga that, that the snitch. Killed the nigga that got kidnapped. Nope, the other niggas got shot, but it wasn't no real shit, like in the hand or some shit like that, some bullshit, but they killed the nigga, because I think he was in the front seat. They killed the nigga who, who motherfucking, who was snitching, that got kidnapped and plant the murders on the niggas that kidnapped them. So the niggas right now doing, doing crazy time for a murder they didn't do because the feds killed that nigga. So the feds say, nigga, the reason why we killed them is because of y'all. They put the motherfucking, they put the motherfucking murder on them niggas, man. Them niggas are still locked up right now to this day, man. That shit was crazy, man. And I'm not even talking about, I didn't even add in the other murders that happened because the motherfucker, this shit would be too long, man. This shit would be too long, man. That shit was crazy as fuck, though, man.